What's up guys? This is the Roverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the Ottoman Empire. Set of round off where we left off. Uh, we are continuing the slugfest. Um, continuing the slugfest in the Balkans. And this time we're going to try and hopefully kill a member of Austrian royalty. So without further ado, let's crack on. So there's a lot of uh, similarities between this campaign and my Italian campaign. Where it's just bogged down fighting against the Ottomans. And realistically, I wonder if it's to do with the the Balkan front is quite broad. Um, but we are we are sallying, so let's deploy these guys back for now. Drop the howitzers inside where they can bombard at range. Everyone else. Let's form a musket line with our Janissaries. And our Israeli. I want to send my Janissary riflemen around the right flank. Look at that range. Very long range. Deploy our cavalry on both flanks. Then let's spread our Semat Janissaries and our Zimandari pikemen along the line and our general will be in, will be in support. What on earth happened there? Make sure we deploy our Melee infantry a bit further, a bit closer up the line. Our artillery are engaging. So start dropping shells on the bad guys. Good. So this cover unit has They've gone, but they're not they're not going to be broken. I'm going to turn fire well off and engage the light Hungarian hussars here. Charge the Semat Janissaries into the line here. And also quite aggressively pivot this flank. While everywhere else goes to hell. Charge the pikemen. I don't want my my actual infantry to get involved. Let's get those Janissaries back. Let's, let's bend. Spin these guys around. Uh, my cavalry. Well, my cavalry is going to do a hell of a lot of good. Although, how well are they performing? Yeah, the Royal Mamluk Guards. Hungarian Hussars have been destroyed. Charging the Lancers. Riflemen have got range, so it's got a mammoth of guards probing around the flanks. I mean, the regiment of horse can also more than welcome to charge in because they will suffer the same fate because I've got my damn pikes here. And they will just melt through. Melt through. Um, artillery fire. Pretty sure the 8th Regiment is not going to last for too long. And the Lancers fully charge my Semat Janissaries into them. Let's charge my pikes in here. Position these men like so to provide a better flank or a better front. These men can try run around the flank if they like. Semats have been charged by the provincial curve. Let's spin our riflemen to make sure they are only engaging the line infantry. Yep. Yeah. The lines are broken, so the Mamluk guards are going to run around the flank. Semat Janissaries hold back. Ah, oh, too bad. Mr. Rayleigh's routed. In which case, then, charge. 
this Sarelli's in. Looks like we might actually be in some trouble. Good. Charge the horse grenadier guards. Pivot. Pivot this flank up. Both of them are doing an excellent job. They might not necessarily win against the grenadier guards solo, so let's bring this unit in to provide some long range support. close combat going on here. Run my rifleman up to help provide some fire into these overall these enemy forces. Good, this is a race of coming back. Charge up. These are still grenadier units, or cover they are still um, guard units. New men present, charging the pikemen to fill up the gap. Who should I leave back here? Ah, oh, I left another unit of Mamluk guards completely. See, they may break, but it looks like they will probably actually get their charge off. Let's throw our grenadiers into the mix. Let's keep our men charging into the center. The general has been killed. There goes his royal highness. He has fallen in the center as the Turks surround and engulf his surviving men. The marines are falling back. The expat infantry is falling back into the rear. Charge these men onwards into combat. You guys halt fire for now. Okay, let's get some order in to fight the Grenadier Guards. As everyone else just flees. General's bodyguard can go take out the ninth. You guys can come and take out the fourth foot guards, marines. Throw these men into the slaughter as well. Should try and knock out the grenade guards to free up our cavalry to continue slaughtering our enemies. Halt artillery fire. Good, so they've been killed. Charge on. Get our Mamluk guards out of there. So they can go chase down. Absolutely chase down. And charge them, so let's get those Israeli out of the way. Some generals moving up. Probably not going to get the horse grenadier guards. You men charge the militia. Probably the same with my general. It's probably the end of the. Uh... Actually, you guys try go for them. So cavalry's going to make an absolute. Monster victory! Wait, the cavalry's going to make a monster victory? That doesn't make sense. And um, yes, we lost a lot more men than I'd like, but their force almost completely destroyed. And now, our immediate budget crisis, because we were under siege, has now been rectified. And we could also take Balti Mehmet, hit Emil Kohler, and then that's an auto resolve. Good God alive! See, that's why I should never auto-resolve. But, alternatively, it does provide us an opportunity to combine some of our weaker elements. So 
So we've combined our feline, so we can probably just get... Well, not going to get rid of you yet. But our armies are becoming well-placed to respond. So you're growing your army. Good. Then we've taken... Yeah, we took Zahedin from the British. Our spy is marching onwards into the French, because I expect there's probably an army coming from them soon. Friendly with Mughal Empire mid-trading. But I would very much like uh, some... I would very much like... Well, quicklime, fundamentally. Yep, here come the Austrians. But we've managed to chew up one of their armies in the field. We've got the <clears throat> the income to rebuild those forces. The Sweden wants to trade. Let's. Moroccans are back. And they're off. We pretty much need to break the back of the Austrian forces. At the very least, pushing back and taking back our former territories to Bulgaria. We're not going to get Transylvania and Moldavia because we're currently friendly with Poland. But I'd very much like to have a front line against a non-enemy in the Balkans so I can push into, maybe into Russia, secure some of the territories back there. They're not super valuable. Um, but with late game tech, they can help contribute to a solid tax base. I don't know, would still like to adventure into other theatres, but for now, the Ottomans are very much having to stabilise the situation on their doorstep. Okay, so we've got advanced naval architectures, which means dry dock. So firstly, you guys replenish. Secondly, you guys replenish and probably build... Well, seek and a, a better unit. Maybe not necessarily hand mortars. Or... Eh, not necessarily like elite elite, but so right now this army is very ragtag. And one thing it's not really got is just, just line infantry. So let's get two units of this already recruited. I've only got space for one, but when they both arrive I'll disband. Um, the Seminis. I don't want you to lose your garrison. Such as it is. And then let's pick up... Palestinian Auxiliaries. Uh, I want to pick up... Howitzers would be good. And we can afford it to build two... Units of howitzers. Good. Okay, let's check our tech. Good. We've got some good technologies coming. But the main benefit, I think, is that um, Istanbul is growing, or is replenishing, because we are going to have to start to push and do some offensive ops. And I may... Rather than disbanding units, I may just send these units back to Athens to help bolster their to bolster their garrison. My spy is chasing down their priest, but I might retarget him because he looks like he's going down to that region. It's like the Spanish have been pushed out of Morocco. But everything else seems fairly stable. And the Knights of St. John were all the way up in the in the uh, the Black Sea for some reason, and they got <laughs> getting swiftly punted back out. So, in terms of territories, we'd like to take. Well, pretty much, we've got a good op we can we've got a good opportunity to break the back of the 
the Ottomans. Not the Ottomans, we're the Ottomans. Coke Blast Furnace, good. Lots of good growth in our income there. So, although not directly reflected in the balance sheet. Comancha. Seed drills would be good to help. The cost of building farms. It's quite handy, we've got a lot of farms. And it's cheap. So, lots of things to build. So these troops. Let's send the Feline. Oh, it looks like they can't. There we go. Feline, march down to the garrison. Now both these men can join Mr. Mehmet. But I'm, I'm tempted to start filtering out some of our weaker units. So let's get another Janissary musket unit onto the field. I'm tempted to try and see if we can get any proper heavy cavalry, but I need to make sure my government building is on point, because I don't think we're going to realistically get heavy cavalry, although they look damn awesome. Great defence as well. Sifais, I remember them. Mounted cav, 120 range guns is pretty good. Yeah, Nizam said it infantry. Or Chedit. Chedit said it. One of the two. So we do have melee infantry, melee infantry. Two melee infantry, but I'd probably like to A, boost that with some cavalry. Which will probably end up being a Royal Mameluk Guard and a unit of Mamelukes. And I'd probably like to pick up some Semat Janissaries as well. We've already got our lights. Let's put on two units of Isarelli as well. And let's get some economy investing going. So let's build a commercial port. Actually, no. First, let's build a commercial port here with our capital. See, these are lots of so much good stuff. Then again, in Jerusalem, it's not quite as useful. Um, let's upgrade a car. What are we? All the way on roads. Because I do have a quite far-flung empire. Wealthy iron workshops. That Now we're talking. That's pretty good. Um, I'm not bothered about pushing against the Russians on this front. Mainly because I don't want to, I don't want the AI to focus too much on what's going on down here. I want them to leave us alone. Let's up Greece's cannon foundry because we can. Maybe upgrade our roads in Athens as well. Cool, but next turn we've got some really good um, research slots opening up. Athens is growing. And we've opened up steam pump mine in Persia. You can ignore what you're doing and instead head upwards on the enemy front because we're going to have a guy over here anyway. As expected, it's pretty much just a militia army. So let's march my agent up to try and intercept this priest. Hopefully he won't have too much of an effect as he marches through. Although I do not have a um, religious happiness building here, I don't think, as far as I can tell. Pleasure gardens, school, Turkish bath, craft workshop. Yeah. Oh well. Okay, let's hit end turn again. So I do have to be careful with my economy. Oh no, are they going to try and... Yep, the Austrians are pushing to the west again, as is expected. This is why I need multiple armies, or why I want three armies really. I want two to push towards Serbia. Not Ser Serbia? Bulgaria. Two to push towards Bulgaria and then one to be off to the west to help prevent any spoiling expeditions. And it's also why I want 
Athens in the meantime to be a bit more garrisoned than it currently is in case they do push a real force through. The Knights of St. John are going to send uh, another ship off to do something. Oh, strengthen their navy. Here come the Danes. I think I transit a force. No, I thought they might transit a force down into the Med. I need to actually check. Let's check who Austria is actually at war with. Yes, they raided this building, which is why I have not built anything in there. Christoph Frommel. Okay, diplomacy. Austria. We're friendly with Austria and still... Okay, that war with France. Good, they are at war with Poland. Which means this whole area should be a bit of a battleground. It has narrowed down our, our options to drive in and take Austrian territory a bit, but we can at least take Bulgaria and Belgrade get control of this river it looks like there is only one two three four crossing points in our territory okay so let's do a bit of economy upgrading let's build two fourth rates which will finish at the time the dry dock has been built the recruitment here will continue Iron workshops is a good idea. So fur traders. Maybe fixing this governance building would be a good idea. And maybe deliberately not upgrade the roads to make any invading force take longer to reach anywhere important. And let's try and kill their priest. Nope, but he has been detected. Okay, let's add roads in Persia and let's find any cheap military buildings that haven't been upgraded to at least or maybe even cheap barracks buildings no I don't think there's gonna be many of those so two new tech slots um, which we're probably gonna fiddle with not so hot on diamond formation. Instead, I would rather fire in advance to get the plus one training level for infantry. Not so much reorganised procurement because I'm not so hot on the plus 10% upkeep. Let's get fire in advance. Or maybe actually carcass shot to, um, to research or to get down to quick lime shells. Kaiseri is doing longitude watch. Map movement range isn't as useful for us. Because we're only focused on our own little portion of the med. A couple of bottoms might be good to increase speed and range. Reform naval administration is obviously pretty handy. But I think I might go for a couple of bottoms. Recruitment cost kind of sucks. But the, the top speed in battle is good. And the movement range is kind of a bit of a bonus. Good. So this army's ready. This army will be. will take a few turns to be completely up up together. Okay, let's hit end turn. Yeah, don't worry. This is why I've got that weaker army that's still full of militia-like troops. Ooh, that's not good. Um, a lot of our trade comes through that port, so I probably need to send one of my armies west immediately to take them out. Why? I left the port open. You may ask. Well, I was mainly concerned if multiple armies attacked the capital at once. Because you saw how just one army sieging it caused us to go to have no trade income. 
Um, didn't really want that to happen again, especially when they're moving troops around. But the army in Ankara that's going to be gathering its strength, that army plus the garrison army, once it's got foot artillery, they will be the ones that push. Hopefully, together. So let's take this guy and Mr. Mehmet. Actually, first, it's two tech advances. So we've got seed drills researched. Maybe a good idea, might be. Let's see, why can't I research that? Oh, because I don't have any Iron Masters forges. Uh, let's get you instead to work on punch card looms to get just the straight bonus to textile industry. Straight bonuses are great, it means I don't have to spend money to get them. Good, this army's waiting on one unit, which I don't know if it's a special unit recruited from elsewhere. In which case then I'm inclined to just build another artillery unit nearer the front. But really Istanbul needs to start churning out some cannons. Sadly he does not have... Oh no, he's got a gunnery school. Could churn out four guns a turn, that's a lot. So let's not build up this army anymore, let's move them up to the front. Oh, they're waiting for another infantry unit. Do they need... How much, what kind of melee infantry have we got? So we've got the Sekban Janissaries. And we've got a couple of Semat Janissaries. Uh, maybe infantry might be a good idea. Just to strengthen my line a little bit. In any case, let's recruit it here at the front. In addition to... No, actually, let's just recruit two more guns. Because as I break some units out of here, these armies will be complete. Good. Fertile ground. Plus one to zeal when converting people in Europe. Oh well, still slowly converting here. Ahead of our attack. So you guys can't get upgraded anymore. And it's unfortunate, but it means that Andrianopol, when it develops... Uh, if it's even a as long as it's not a port but I can't see it oh there it is I'm an idiot good okay we do have scope to build this into a happiness building and a school as well so it's not the end of the world so because this army's moved up, let's march this guy west, right up in their face, and then attack. Let's go take him out. Then this army, under the veteran, Mr. G well, General Mehmet, he will stay to the west, and he will probably push up to threaten Serbia. Let's see if we can draw forces away from the east. That would be an interesting set of events, I think. So, if anything, I think maybe how it says might end up being a better choice for this fighting style because it doesn't rely on line of sight. Let's form our front line. Group our cavalry. Put some Janissary Musketeers up on the hill. Melee men behind the line. So what we've got to bear in mind is when we fight when we fight Western armies, we will be outgunned when it comes to uh, well guns. So we must rely on overlapping fire and all sorts of all sorts of things to maximize our chances of winning so let's just do that good so i did that to see how far along my main line things will change 
Um, let's run my line into position. Did they hit us with shrapnel shot? Sounded like shrapnel shot. Which would not be great, but it's not the end of the world either. There are pikemen on this flank. It's almost like their cavalry can try to charge. Musketmen. Oh, the pikemen have walked in range of our musketmen, which is great news. The morale is not very good, so I'm hoping they will shatter under the uh, strength of our volley fire. Okay, looks like they're trying to snipe my general with the lances. Well, the Bashi Bazooks are going to take a very dim view on that. Let's go all my artillery to hit the pikemen. Camels having a great time against the enemy cavalry. Go on, Bashis, have at them. If there's one thing lances don't like, it's prolonged combat. Especially in the merge. Run my cover behind the line for a moment. So it looks like my pikemen have a very special desire. These poor lancers are going to be done for. And there they go. to run around. Let's just smash into the flank of them with some cavalry while they're on the run. They may be incredibly upset about it. But I mean, obviously, once I charge, I'm going to need to run. Just died on one. Good. Take him out. Pound their line into dust. If anything, I'm okay with their line not immediately folding, because it gives us opportunities to kill these routing units. Without having to choose, we just produce... Well, we just have lots of free units. They're never going to get all these garrison guards, they're all over the place.
Poor old artillery piece. Still going. If anything, I might just pull these guys away from the garrison guards because no point running after them. Halt oh, artillery fire. Halt oh, fire at will. So maybe go off the Swiss line first. Absolutely. Damn! Good stuff. Seeing you probably worry more about maybe this unit of militia. Uh, General Goff for this unit of Swiss line. And let's just send the flashies to chase someone down. As well, they like to have something to do. You can chase the militia down. You're having a great time trying to kill them. You're still after your pikemen, which are probably going to fail at. And now you go after that militia and let's run the bashies out of the way. Run them down. Let's set this unit to go chase down the gunners, wherever the hell they've run off to. Or are they still here at the gun? Okay, let's send all my artillery to attack ground just next to the gun. I should deal with them. In which case, then. Two men remaining. Two Swiss line infantry. But under the, the blades of my general, they have been cut down. Let's hope they pull back north rather than south. Look at that. 2,000 2, men. 137 remaining. Good, you march west. You guys cover your... Uh, pronounce your troops. Pick up the cobbled roads. Let's pick up the uh, the, the um, military building. Good, because soon you will be ready. Or well, I'll have two armies ready to push here or to fight with the Austrians here, while another army can march north and actually take Serbia potentially. Um, but yes, looking at the timer, I believe that's time to end the part. So. Thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.